Hello, I am Adarsha, a Cloud Support Associate here at the AWS headquarters in Seattle. Sometimes customers ask me how to modify system level parameters for an RDS instance to tune their workload. I tell them that they can set these parameters directly using commands such as set. They'll receive an error because these commands can be used in RDS. Instead, they must create a custom DB parameter group to modify them. So let me show you how to do this. So let's create a DB parameter group. After signing into the AWS management console, we'll navigate to Amazon RDS console and select the desired region. In the RDS navigation pane, choose parameter groups. On the top right corner, select create parameter group. In the parameter group family, select your desired engine version. For example, MySQL 5.6. In the group name, enter the desired name for the parameter group. In the description, enter a description for the new parameter group. Click Create. Now let's modify the parameters in the custom DB parameter group. From the Amazon RDS console, choose the parameter groups. In the filter parameter groups field, enter the name of the custom parameter group that you created. Now let's select the parameter group. Choose Edit Parameters. Search for the parameter you want to modify. For example, Max Allowed Packet. Now select the parameter and enter the desired value. Choose Preview Changes and then verify the setting. Choose Save Changes. Now let's attach the custom DB parameter group to the RDS instance. From the RDS console, navigate to DB Instances page. Select the instance you want to attach this custom DB parameter group to. Select the option Modify. Scroll to Database Options section and then select your custom DB parameter group in the list for the DB parameter group setting. Choose Continue. You can choose Apply Immediately or Apply During your maintenance window. I am going to choose Apply Immediately. Now click on Modify DB Instance. And now it may take some time for the instance to modify. Now as you can see the instance is in available state. So let's click on the instance. And in the configuration tab we can see that the parameter group is attached immediately. However the RDS console displays the status as pending reboot and the parameter changes are not applied immediately. This means that to apply the parameter changes, we must manually reboot the DB instance. For a multi-AZ instance, note that we must not choose reboot with failover as that option won't apply the parameter changes. Now you just need to reboot your instance. Once the reboot is finished, you will see that the parameter group is in sync instead of pending reboot status. There are some DB parameters that you can't modify under any circumstances. This is because the parameter property has its value is modifiable set to false. Now I'm going to show you one example. As you can see here we have couple of parameters which are set to false. Some parameters do have the parameter property is modifiable set to true. And there are two kinds of these parameters. Static parameters. These parameters need a manual reboot for the parameters changes to apply. Dynamic parameters. These parameters don't need a manual reboot. Changes are applied immediately. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.